What's up guys, welcome back. Dane's Great Journey checking back in, coming at you with another video today. It's Saturday, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's the weekend, I hope you guys had an awesome week. You know, learning, getting better, all that stuff that I talk about in these videos. And I do thank you for watching and I appreciate it guys. So today I wanted to talk to you about a topic that is on my mind a lot and something I think about a lot and something I work on consistently and that is entrepreneurship, becoming an entrepreneur. And the title of this video is, as you can see if you've clicked on the video or you've seen it is, um, anyone can become a full-fledged entrepreneur and then I have eventually there. Now, what do I mean by this? Is this true? Is this not true? Some people are born that way, some people are not. That's what a lot of people say. And, that, and I'm, I'm, I wanted to talk to you today about that and talk to you about what my perspective is and um, how you can become an entrepreneur, a full-fledged entrepreneur. And, you know, I'll define that definition for you and we'll talk a little bit about that too in this video. So at the end, you kind of know um, where you stand as someone either who is an entrepreneur, aspiring entrepreneur, someone who is a full-fledged entrepreneur, or someone who wants to become an entrepreneur and work towards that. So before we get started, let's just talk about what an entrepreneur actually is. If you actually you know, look up the definition of entrepreneur. It's a business owner, someone who owns a business. And from reading various books on entrepreneurship, um, I know like owning a business, you're you're considered an entrepreneur, but that's not always the case. You know, you have people who own businesses, like say uh, a restaurant, and the business owner also works in the restaurant as well to keep the restaurant going. So. It's what I learned from the E-Myth. It's a book that's like the entrepreneurial myth, which means if you own a business but you work inside the business and you're doing multiple things within the business, then you're not a, you're not really considered an entrepreneur. So there's like there's some leeway there, but I think in my opinion of what an entrepreneur is is someone who's a creator, someone who's a creator and gets paid to do what they love to do, and and they own something you know they they've started their own thing they've created their own thing that produces an income and it is able to create a lifestyle for you that you can live through and you can live on so that's what i that's my definition of an entrepreneur but you know it's like a business owner so that's a, that's another way to think of it but you want to be a business owner who you can work on your business not necessarily in it so your business can run without you necessarily being there. That's really what a full-fledged entrepreneur is. So that E-Myth book was kind of talking about how if you're working in the business and on the business, you're not like completely a full-fledged entrepreneur yet because you're doing technical work, you're doing management work, you know, those people who have to do everything, those those type of business owners, they're, they're in that like entrepreneurial myth because if they leave the business, it doesn't work without them. So you want to get to that, that, um, that level where you work on the business, you work on growing the business, you're not necessarily working inside the business doing technical things to make it happen. You have the managers in place, you have the employees and staff in place to make that happen. But let's not get carried away with that and let's stay on focus to what this video is all about. Now how can you become a full-fledged entrepreneur and can anyone really become a full-fledged entrepreneur? I really believe so because um, there's obviously some people who are just born that way. You know, they grind from they were raised early to go after what they want to work hard towards certain things everyone is raised differently and it's really dependent on your parents and what how they raise you if you're suited to become a, an entrepreneur some people are some people aren't but you can you can create you can work on the skills of what it takes to become an entrepreneur to become a full-fledged entrepreneur and that's what an aspiring entrepreneur is all about me myself I'm not a full-fledged entrepreneur yet I don't have something that's running that is my is providing my lifestyle for me you know I have a job I'm not saying I don't like my job I actually love my job it's really fun but I'm also working on something in the same time as aspiring towards being able to completely create and run my own thing that I that is I'm passionate about so I'm I'm an aspiring entrepreneur. I'm working towards the attainment of something to where it can be something that is full time for me that I love doing and I'm working on maybe a little in the beginning obviously working in but something to work on. So you can become a full fledged entrepreneur by developing the skills and working on the skills of what it takes to become that type, that full fledged entrepreneur. What skills it takes to be a CEO, to start and found your own, like be a founder of your own company. 
even if you don't have the necessary skills it takes, the desire, the willingness to fail and succeed, if you can develop those skills by practice, by reading, by learning about self-development, learning about what it takes to really succeed on another level in this life. Now, I want you guys to think about that. Just because you might not, you might say to yourself now that you don't have the ability to become an entrepreneur because you don't have that inner DNA that just, you know, you get up and you're fired about, you're fired up about the day. Even if you have to go to a job for eight hours, you come home and you work and hustle on that job. You can create that as if you work on the skills it takes. That's what I've been doing for the last year and a half of my life. You know, learning what it takes to become someone who is financially free, who works in a on a business that they love to do and the skills it takes to get there, the goal setting side of it, the, you know, there's so many little factors and that's what I talk about in these videos, guys. So you can create the DNA, create the systems within your, in yourself to have what it takes to aspire to be an entrepreneur, to continually work towards the attainment of a certain goal in your life and then transmit that into becoming a full-fledged entrepreneur. Yes, it might not happen the first time. Yes, you might fail on the first business, second business, third business, but that's what being an entrepreneur is all about, learning to make mistakes, learning to continually press on when all hope seems lost. Even though how crazy that sounds and you know, all hope's lost, but still, that's really what it's about. You're gonna fail a lot, and if you're willing to aspire to become an entrepreneur and work the skills and fail, and do those things, you can eventually become a full-fledged entrepreneur, someone who creates, is a creator in this world, creates awesome things, and gets paid to do what they love to do, guys. So I hope this video helped. I hope you understand that, that regardless if you have, if you just have that inner game already or that inner DNA, you can create that as well through hard work, through developing the skills that it needs to take. Anything, any skill you want in your life, you can have it, guys. I've talked about this before. You just get around the right people, you read the right books, you experiment and you implement and you learn and you can have what it is you want in your life. It's just you got to ask yourself, are you willing to do it? And, you know, it's already seven minutes and 20 seconds. I was going to talk to you guys too about entrepreneurship. That's like working within a business, but having fun doing it, you know, being able to create within a business. That's what an entrepreneur is. Someone who works, let's say for, you know, a startup, but is not the founder, but is a, is working within the company to create cool things and getting paid still good for it. Entrepreneur. It's a little bit different, but it's still something that you love to do. And that's another good route to go down. So I hope this got, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you got a little bit better of, um, you know, kind of a concept and a grasp around what it means to be an entrepreneur, what it takes to be an entrepreneur and that anyone really can have it eventually in your life as long as you work towards it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.